What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. So today is going to be more of a talking video here and also instruction for those of you guys that have really struggled with unminable. Uh, quite some time back, we actually went ahead and dropped this video mine on any PC in five minutes. And this video was dropped one month ago and it has almost 45,000 thousand views you guys are insane so we did a video on two laptops that we had running on mineable showing how the unminable program worked as well as did a follow-up video one week later titled is mining dogecoin worth it one week later on mineable results that one has fifty-seven thousand views on it and um, that goes over how much we made in one week using Unminable on two older laptops. Well, you guys have literally watched almost 100,000 views between two videos and a boatload of the comments are struggles you guys have with either one, downloading Unminable, or two, your antivirus blocking on Mineable. So I wanna show you multiple avenues to get around some of the challenges and safe ways to do it uh, to make sure that your computer stays safe and that you're not making crazy changes or exceptions that would put you at risk. So let's go ahead and dive into today's video. So let's go ahead and head over to unminable.com, which is where we're at right now. So once we had it, go ahead and go over to unminable, uh, if we were following normal protocol, we would come in here and, hey, we want to download on Mineable. So we'd click download and, oh, look, a green button here that says download on Mineable. Let's go ahead and click on it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it's going to go ahead and download on Mineable. Great. So now let's go ahead to our downloads folder. We now have our downloads folder open. We're going to right click on that folder and go to extract and we're going to extract unminable. Okay, so now what it has done is it has put a folder in our downloads folder that is no longer a compressed zip file, but is a normal folder. So we're gonna open it up and let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So right away, Windows wants to protect us. Awesome, great, thank you. If you want to ignore this, you can hit more info and hit run anyway. Now, the next obstacle is what boatloads of you guys have reached out to me about, and I want to help you. So when you hit continue, all of a sudden, what in the hell? So what is happening here, guys, is that it is um, Windows antivirus has eliminated the miners in the files. So if you go to CPU, well, where's my xmrig.exe file? Or you go to GPU, where's my phoenixminer.exe file? So this is not going to work for you. So let's go ahead and close this. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete what I had in my download folder. And let's go back to the web page. And so let's go ahead and let's try the one on the right. This is minor files included. Let's click on it. It looks like it's downloading, downloading, downloading. And what the hell? Chrome has gone ahead and blocked this. Well, what, what are you supposed to do? Well, I'm here to help you guys out today. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So let's start with the Chrome issue. So to address Chrome, go to the upper right hand corner where the three dots are, click there and go down to settings. And once settings opens up, click on privacy and security on the far left hand side. Once that opens up in the middle, under privacy and security, the third option down says security safe browsing. Let's click there and right in the middle, it is set to standard protection. For short term, let's go ahead and select no protection, not recommended. Short term guys, short term. We click on it and we're gonna hit turn off. Great, let's close our settings and we're back on the unminable website. So now let's go ahead and let's click on the right hand side with the minor files included. So now that has gone ahead and downloaded and, and, ooh, it finished. So let's go to our downloads folder. And once we're in our downloads folder, let's go ahead and extract the files. And now we have our folder again, just like we talked about. Let's open that up. And now we've come to unminable. So 
our next obstacle. So now we got it downloaded. We got we got the minor files downloaded. We got past Chrome. Now let's go ahead and set Chrome back to the way it was. So once again in Chrome, let's go to the three dots, go to settings. Let's go to privacy and security. Let's click on security, safe browsing, and let's set it back to standard. Perfect. So now we've got what we've needed and we've set our security back to the way it's supposed to be. The next step we want to do is we want to enable, we want to add unminable to the Windows exception. So in Windows 10, Windows 10 views minor files as a virus, um, which is a false positive uh, is what you call it in the security industry. So what we're going to do is we're going to add unminable to the exceptions. So in Windows, so what we're going to do is first off, we're going to go back to our downloads folder and you see this folder right here. So I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to rename this and call it unminable. Just one word, easily identifiable, get rid of all the garbage after it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and go to copy. We're going to go to our desktop and I'm going to paste it. So now unminable has been the entire folder has been placed on our desktop. If you take a look, there's the unminable file right there. Perfect. So now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and we're going to go to the very top bar and we're going to click there and you see how it gives you a file path. We're going to copy that file path at the very top. It's blue. Copy that right click and copy. Now what we're going to do is you're going to click in the bottom left hand corner and you're going to click the gear next to settings. That'll bring up Windows settings. Now what we're going to do is go to update and security. Then we're going to go on the left hand side to Windows security. Now in the middle, we're going to select virus and threat protection. As you guys can see, it has actually found uh, some time ago a virus and you're like, oh, oh, wh what's going on there? So if we go ahead and click in here and go to see details, you can see it actually identified it as unminable. Wow, look at that. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some changes here. So traditionally, uh, if you come into manage settings underneath of virus and threat protection settings, traditionally this is turned on. So this is what yours is going to look like right now. Okay, so turn off real time protection. Don't worry, we're going to turn it back on. So real-time protection is off. We're now going to go ahead and we're going to scroll down to exclusions, add or remove exclusion. Click there. Now we've come to the exclusions area. We're going to do add an exclusion and we're going to select a folder. Now it's going to say what folder. So go to your desktop, select on mineable, the folder and hit select folder. Now you can see it has added unminable as an exclusion into, um, into the antivirus exclusion whitelist. Okay, so the second exclusion we want to add is we want to hit add an exclusion. We want to select file. And then we want to go ahead into our desktop into unminable and we want to select the unminable file. Once that's done, we want to hit back. We want to turn on real-time protection. We want to close out of Windows security, close out of settings. And now we're back to the desktop and let's open up the unminable folder and let's run unminable. So now when unminable loads, we're not going to be given any Windows security messages at all. So we've, we've whitelisted not only the folder, but we've also whitelisted the exclusions, the program itself. Once we're into unminable, we can hit continue and voila, look at that. All of the miners are found. They're not being blocked. They're not being nabbed as a virus or anything like that. So our next step is if you guys want to, is you can go ahead and start mining. So let me go ahead and show that to you guys here. So let's say we're going to do a graphics card GPU uh, for this test. We'll test out both and it wants to know what coin we want to do. Let's do Dogecoin. And so now I'm going to get my Doge address. Feel free to send me some Doge. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to go ahead and hit start. And 
and it's going to ask us what we want to do. Look, it wants to use Phoenix Miner because we're mining on the GPU. So I'm just going to check both boxes for environments, private and public, and hit allow. So this is a firewall now, not antivirus. This is a firewall exception. We have to go ahead and allow it. Now what's going to happen is this zero, we're going to give it a few minutes, and this zero should go from a zero hash rate to, there it is, look at that. If you guys do not allow the firewall exception, this will not work. You have to allow the firewall exception when that pops up. So now we are mining Dogecoin. We're at 18.9 mega hash on our GPU, which is a 3060. And um, this actually, if you guys are not familiar, um, Unminable actually mines Monero and then it pays me in Doge. So it that, that's kind of how that works. So um, right now, this is how this is working. So we're going to hit stop. Um, and uh, we can go ahead and go back if we want and back again. We can select CPU and we can hit next. And now let's say we want to mine. Uh, let's see what else. What else do we want to mine today? Ethereum. OK, we're going to get rid of our Doge address. We're going to drop Ethereum in here. Feel free to send me Ethereum. Uh, it's having issues with that. Let's see. Copy, paste. There we go. And um, now we're going to start mining Ethereum. So we're going to give it a minute. Alrighty. So we will wait ahead for this to go ahead and start to kick in. Uh, it'll be at zero for not too, too long here. Uh, and then it'll go ahead and there it is. 54,000 hash rate right now uh, mining Ethereum, well, it's actually, I think it's actually mining a Monero, I think is how Unminable works. And then it pays us out in Ethereum. And uh, there we go, starting to peak up. Uh, and it'll take some time to calculate your actual, your calculated hash rate, as you can see right now, it says like zero. Uh, it'll take some time to go ahead and start to populate that. There's also that really cool stats button in the upper right hand corner that you guys can use to get a little bit more idea as to how you do per day, per hour, per minute, uh, and kind of allow you to start to project what your profitability will be using on Mineable. Well, other than that, guys, um, that's pretty much going to go ahead and sum things up for today. You do have the ability if you're more knowledgeable in the mining space to not even use the program and you could come in here and actually decide to go ahead and just download the miners and mine directly to the pool of your choice. Um, I'm sorry, the, uh, and not even worry about, um, you know, using the unminable program or worry about some of these antivirus and Chrome issues, but that's more for some more knowledgeable individ individuals. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.